So I'm here with Dr. John Sinnott. He's the chairman of the USF Health Department and the head of epidemiology at Tampa General. And he's going to give us some insight on, on things that we can do to help prevent the spread of COVID-19 and protect ourselves and loved ones. So, John, what are some things that you feel are not expressed enough? Well, I can't emphasize enough uh, social distancing. You have to be six feet away from anyone else. 90% of these infections are from other people. An easy way to look at how the germs would go would be to think of someone smoking a cigarette and where would that smoke go? And that's exactly where the germs would go. So when I'm looking at people, I sort of see where the wind is from. Like I'm a little more comfortable with it, my interviewer because the wind's blowing away from us. Um, if we're blowing the other way, I'd be in a different place. Secondly, when you're trying to get people to stay six feet away, they don't get the hint sometimes. So what I say is for your protection, you need to back up. I might have been infected. Those people jump like you've never seen anyone move in your life. But I cleared out the public's line when I announce that. <laughs> you gotta be careful with that. <laughs> the um, other things you should do is you should avoid elevators. Elevators fill up with air, cough, and germs. Just take the stairs. It's much more healthy. Because remember, this is a virus of people. So you don't shake hands, you don't hug anyone, and you keep people out of your house. Why do I say that? It turns out that, and we have great data, the Diamond Princess, the cruise ship with people trapped on it, when we looked at specimens, tests, from those people, we found 18% had no symptoms at all and they never got sick, but they were still spreading the virus. So for all I know, the person interviewing me could carry the virus, but not be sick. This is how the epidemic spreads. Because of course, if someone is sweating and coughing and everything, you're not gonna go near them. But 20% of them look good, feel good, and are very dangerous. I don't know who they are, so I always wear a mask. I would create your own antivirus compound, and it's easy. This is just alcohol with a little bit of glass cleaner in it and a couple drops of like Lux liquid. It will kill any virus. So before I go in the house at night, I work in the hospital. I work with COVID patients every day. What I do is I spray my shoes really well and let them dry on the way home or if they've been at the supermarket. Because you hear all these people worried about, oh, the rail might be contaminated, or my keyboard. Well, I guarantee you the floor is contaminated. So that takes care of that. Also during the SARS epidemic in China, we were able to trace a number of outbreaks to shoes to carry the virus into the house. The other thing I would do is if you're over 65, absolutely you should have the pneumonia shot. Why? A lot of people don't die of COVID-19. They're on a ventilator, they're sick, and then they get a bacteria on top of them. And that's very hard to recognize. If you're vaccinated against pneumonia, that takes that out of the picture. It is a huge help. The other thing I would recommend is vitamin D. There was a study in the British Medical Journal that showed you reduced viral infections 70% with a normal um, vitamin D level. 
Now with all our sun protection and stuff, and I'm an ad for that, um, your vitamin D levels get low. So everyone should take 4,000 units a day that's over 16, everyone, unless you have kidney disease or some contraindication. I would encourage people, you know, outdoors is safe. Stay six feet from people. Think of like a plume of cigarette smoke and um, get out a little. I think boating's perfect. There's nobody around here that's going to infect me. There's nobody here, period. So I work on my boat, it's therapeutic. And it reminds me a little of that old joke. We want you to go on isolation. A, we want you to go spend a month with your wife and children, or B, and everyone says B. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a privilege that we're able to take the boats out and be on the water with everything else being shut down, and I think it's the best way to socially distance yourself. I, I thought that was a very smart move on the governor's part. The boating industry is a huge part of Florida's um, income. I mean, look around. These things are expensive. <laughs> They're hard to keep up. The more people use them, the better for the economy. And they're not spreading the disease. The safest place is out in the ocean two miles. And if the person with you isn't infected, nothing will ever infect you. Oh, you heard it here, Captain Dr. John Sennett, uh, my very first client and um, avid boater. Um, thank you very much, John. We appreciate your information. And if I were in the market for a boat, this guy could sell refrigerators to Eskimos. <laughs> I would wait a few months, and you're going to get some really good deals on boats. <laughs> thank you, John. I appreciate your, your time. You all have a good day. Thank you. Take care. Socially distance. Protect other people, too.